G'day and welcome back to Project 300. This will be a quick and easy video today, showing the DIY installation of a Richards LED tailgate light kit. Really handy for improving the lighting of the load area, and also a great way to get some illumination when connecting or disconnecting a trailer by simply opening the tailgate. I have used Richards products several times in the past, starting way back in 2013 with their excellent torque converter lockup kit for the 200 series. For the 300, they've already developed several plug and play kits for various accessories. So keep an eye on Project 300 because I'll no doubt be using a few more of these as the build progresses. The light kit that they've put together could easily be mistaken for a factory installation. It includes a plug and play wiring loom that looks like Toyota made it, a factory look switch complete with a new door handle, and a trim panel that holds the light itself. The kit comes with comprehensive instructions, so let's get into the installation. Before you begin the installation, open the tailgate first, then disconnect the negative battery terminal. Move into the load area and open the access panel for the jack. Put your hand into the panel and move it upwards until you feel the back of the factory light. Push outwards towards the front edge of the light and it'll pop out. Disconnect the wiring plug by pushing on the release tab. Then grab the Richards wiring loom and connect the socket to the original light plug and the new plug to the factory light. You now need to remove the factory door seal. Starting near the light and moving up the side and across to around the middle of the car, pull the seal away from the car. Watch out for grease behind the seal. Tape a cable tie to the end of the Richards wiring loom to make it easier to thread through for the next few steps. Thread the cable tie and the loom in through the factory light hole then between the metal and the interior trim and out through the gap. Push almost all of the loom through, just leaving a little bit of slack cable. Then clip the light back into the mounting hole. Next, run the loom up the pillar towards the middle of the car, tucking it in between the metal and the trim as you go. Again, watch out for seal grease and wipe any off your hands to avoid staining the roof lining. Using a trim tool or flat blade screwdriver, carefully prise the bottom of the factory grommet up just slightly. You then need to push in on the small tabs on the side and the ends so that it pops out without damage. Then using your hands, pull the top grommet out of the tailgate. Push the cable tie and loom into the cavity and draw it up through the hole in the roof, pulling it all the way through. Spray some WD-40 or similar into the cable gland to aid running the cable through. Then thread the cable tie in and pull the loom all the way through the gland. You'll probably need to twist and jiggle it a bit as you're pushing the cable tie through. Then refit the door seal by just pushing it back into place. It's now time to remove the tailgate trims. Begin with the top trim. Using your fingers or a taped trim tool, pull the plastic away from the glass starting on one side. Once it's off, let it sit on the door seal. If any of the plastic clips fall out, reattach them to the trim piece. Next it's time to remove the left and right side window trims. Start at the top corner of the left side and pull the trim straight towards the centre of the car. Work your way down towards the bottom of the trim. Repeat the process for the right side trim. Now it's time to remove the grab handles. Move to the bottom of the tailgate and apply some tape as shown to protect the trim from damage. Then using a trim tool, lever off the handle from the outside edge. There are three spring clips. Repeat this for the other handle. If your handle has switches for the power tailgate, it removes the same way, but you'll need to unplug the switch wiring after removing the handle. Next it's time to remove the large lower trim panel. Again it's held in place with numerous plastic clips. Start on one side and lever the trim away from the door. Use a tape trim tool or your hands. Work your way around the edges of the panel, popping off clips as you go. Then work your way towards the centre, supporting the weight of the panel. Once the clips are all released, slide the panel downwards from under the door lock trim. Move back towards the top of the tailgate and run the Richards loom into the tailgate alongside the factory wiring. Pull it all the way through, then cable tie the Richards loom to the factory loom every 20 centimetres or so, all the way down the factory loom and towards the centre of the door. 
It's now time to connect the new light and switch to the rest of the Richards loom. First, connect the white and green wires on the loom to the corresponding wires on the supplied switch. Then crimp the wires together through the heat shrink tube. Then repeat the process with the wires to the light. Connect the black wires together and then the red wire on the light to the red and blue wires on the loom. Once you've crimped all the wires together, use a heat gun or a lighter to seal the heat shrink on the connectors. I also taped over these sections of the loom with some electrical tape just to offer some additional protection for any potential rubbing. Run the switch wiring through the tailgate and let it sit, hanging out of the passenger side handle hole. Then bundle up any loom excess and cable tie it to the factory loom. Move back to the large lower door trim and pop out the blanking plate from the inside of the trim. Lift the trim up roughly into position and thread the light out through the cover plate hole. Then refit the trim into place by sliding it into the slots next to the door lock and pressing the plastic securing clips back into place all the way around the trim. Just keep pushing all over the trim piece to make sure they're all clipped back in. Next, fit the light into the hole by pushing into the lower edge first, then clipping in the top. Using the supplied door handle and switch, connect the wiring to the switch, then clip the handle into the passenger side. You can then refit the original handle into the driver's side. If you have a power tailgate, you'll also need to reconnect the switches and fit the supplied warning sticker. Refit the right and left side window trim pieces by clipping them back into place and locking them in to the lower trim panel. Finally, move back to the top of the tailgate and refit the top plastic trim, pushing in the body clips and locking it into the side window trims. Then push the wiring grommets back into the tailgate and also into the roof of the car. With the installation complete, reconnect the negative battery terminal and replace the cover trim. You'll probably find that some of the vehicle settings will have reverted to factory defaults. The new light operates from the factory load area light, with the supplied switch essentially acting as an isolation switch. I hope you found the install video useful. As you've seen, it's a pretty simple installation, which only takes an hour or so and requires only basic tools. So, let's take a look at the results. Here is the brightness from the standard load area light, and here is the massive increase coming from the tailgate light, with no change in camera settings. As you can see, it's a massive improvement, not just in the load area itself, but also to the ground behind the car. Check out the Project 300 website for steps and photos of the process, plus plenty more information on other Land Cruiser 300 accessories and maintenance. See you next time.